Hello everybody, it's Brian here from The Podiatry Hive and today what I'd like to do is to take you through a fantastic model that helps us drive change through our business. It's called the Scarf Bottle and I think you'll find it really useful. So everybody, when you start to drive some change through your business, um, there's a great saying that says people don't hate change, they hate being changed. I'll say that again. People don't hate change, they hate being changed. So let's just assume, for instance, that you have a change going on within your business. People's energy will either be down, neutral or up around that change. Now, if people start to think that there is a threat to them and that this is a really negative thing that's going on, well, clearly they will move away from the change. What happens in the brain is that a chemical is released called cortisol, and cortisol is a blocker. So when people get into that negativity, they won't shift. The other side, though, is how do we get them to want to change? And so if people can see that there's a reward in it for them, and that this is a positive thing for them personally, not just for the business, then serotonin is released. And serotonin is the feel-good chemical that our brain releases and it creates this sense of hope and optimism. So if I'm driving through change, I want people to move towards the change rather than away. And interestingly, three arrows to one, the move away from pain and uncertainty is far greater in human beings than it is towards pleasure. Now the areas that David Rock, who built this model, talks about are these. If you attack somebody's status, then they are very unlikely to want to go towards the change. So your job is to maintain either a neutral status or, in fact, enhanced status through doing this. The second one is certainty. If people know what the journey will be like, again, they will more likely to move towards it. If there's mystery around the future, they'll hold back. The next one is autonomy. If I can give people some measure of choice, some measure of free choice about things, again, more likely to move towards an enhanced energy around that. The fourth one is relatedness. And while it sounds a bit of a clumsy word, what it means is this. If people feel as though they're going to go through this change alone, then they're very unlikely to go for it. If it is that the team is going through this and we have plenty of meetings and we connect up and we talk about the certainty and all those sorts of things and we give people choice, they're more likely to want to do that with each other. And the last piece is fairness. If it doesn't feel fair for them and for other people within the group, they're not likely to move towards it. So again, when driving change through your business, start to think about addressing the issue in terms of status, certainty, autonomy, relatedness and fairness. If you can keep their energy up or at least neutral, you're more likely to get them to come on the journey with you. So if you've enjoyed that uh, little model around the, the scarf model, and you're interested in finding some other things that might be able to help you advance your business, then check out the website at podiatryhive.com and we'll be able to, to steer you towards some great ideas for business improvement. <music>